In this video, I will show you how to create your first database in Alibaba Cloud. Here we are in the console on or in the main portal in Alibaba Cloud. So we will navigate to Axara DB. We can search. So we have many options here, but for this case, we will create a Redational database. We can choose Postgres SQL. So in this case, we will use this option here, Axara DB RDS. This is a special service for renational databases. So here we will create a new instance. Let's create a new one. And we have here two different options, subscription and pays as you go. With subscription, we have to pay a fee every month. And this is not going to change, even if we are using a lot of resources or uh, if we have a lot of users using this database. At the end, we will pay the same amount per month. With pays as you go, we will pay only for the resources that we use during the month. So in this case, we will use pay as, pay as you go. Now we will we can select the region. For example, in this case, I will select um, USA Virginia. Okay, and now we can select the uh, data database engine. So for this case, I will select Postgres SQL. Um, we have uh, many options here. But for example, SQL Server is really expensive. So you have to take into account that um, because we have to pay the license in order to execute this one in Windows. But with Postgres SQL, uh, we can select a um, um, ma virtual machine with Linux, which is, is um, and, and we don't have to pay a license for, for this in, in, in So this is why this is really really uh, cheap we will use basic edition in this case in order to reduce the the, the cost okay we will we can select this one this is storage uh, storage type and now we have here all the possibilities regarding virtual machines and the resources for this virtual machine that is going to uh, host our database so I suggest to use this one, which is the uh, small one. It's, it's pretty small and we don't have to pay a lot. Actually, only um, uh, 0 0.03 uh, per, per hour for this service. So I think this is a really good option just to for demos or just to test how to create this database. And now uh, we have to select this the storage. Since this is a demo, we can just uh, select the minimum one, which is uh, 20 gigabytes. But as you can see, we have many options here. And depending on the storage that we want to use, you can see now the new amount here per hour is increasing. So let's select the basic and now um, uh, click on next to complete the configuration. So now for this case, uh, we can see the BPC. We, we will keep this with the, with the basic option here. Also, we can select our resource group. I will keep the default resource group here. And also, uh, we can see a summary of all the options that we selected before. So if uh, you are comfortable with this configuration, you can configure now and complete the setup. Okay, in this case, uh, in this case, I will uh, use a coupon that I have, so I don't have to pay anything. Uh, we need to always accept the term of service. And now we can pay and create the instance. Okay, in this case, we can see that the order is complete and now we can go or navigate to the console and see the new services.
normally it takes uh, one minute or five minutes, uh, between one minute to five minutes to complete. So let's see. And some minutes later, we can see now in the Aksara DV RDS section, we can see our new instance. So we can uh, we can see that here we are using a database in PostgreSQL. Uh, now it's running, so we can uh, complete the setup for that database. So let's go to instance. Uh, we can see that now is in um, creating a status. So we need to wait a little in order to complete the setup for, for this database. So let's wait for um, uh, the creation complete. And after waiting for a couple of minutes, we can see now the our instance running. So let's go and navigate to this instance and see other options that we need to set up in order to use this database. So first we need to um, create an account here that is going to perform the logging on the database. So let's, so let's create a new account here. It's very important to take into account that we need to, we can use reserve and reserve names or keywords. So let's use, for example, np around. Okay, now we can use here privileged account in order to ground the permissions. And now in password, we can use a simple password. Very important to follow all the rules that uh, we need here in this description. Okay, and now complete. So now we have our account here is working fine. So we can now go to databases and now we can create a new database. In this case, we can use demo DB. Okay. You can um, set up this configuration, but the most important thing here is to use uh, the authorization here and now that we are using the, the user that we created before, we have an option in order to perform a login or to connect to this database. So let's create this database. And now our database is already created. So we can now connect to this database because the database is running and we have a user. But before connected to the database, we need to use to database connection and we need here to set up how our the computer, the external computer or clients are going to connect to this database. So here we can configure a while list here in data security. And now we can modify this one. And uh, we can use, uh, for example, um, if, if we need to use all the possible um, IP address, we can use this one here. So with this one, anyone can connect to this database. So let's use this one here. And that's it. With this, everyone can connect. Okay, this is just for demo proposed, but in production, you have to clarify which IP address, IP address can connect to this database. So let's go ahead and complete this configuration. And now our database is, I mean, this is a basic configuration, but it seems that uh, is everything running fine. So now we can connect to, to this database. So for this, we will use PG admin. So now we are here in PG admin. So we need to connect to the server. So in Alibaba Cloud, we have here the basic info in basic information. We have the name of this instance. We have all the uh, general configuration. And also if we navigate to connection here, 
uh, we can see this uh, internal endpoint to connect internally, but we are looking for a, a public endpoint here. So let's go ahead and create a public endpoint in order to use the database for external clients. Okay, so now we have an external endpoint here, and this is the name of the server. We have also an account, so this is enough to connect. So let's copy this public endpoint. And now here, we'll try to connect to this server. So add service, we can say EB Alibaba Cloud. Now we can navigate to connection. We can add the host here, use this port. Uh, database is demo db and the username is mtran. Okay, and the password here uh, all the data that we created in the account and also the name of the database and the name of the server here. So this, uh, this two words. And now we are connected. So as you can see, we can see here the database, demo DB. We, ha we have access to the database, but we don't have any, any catalog or table uh, in the schema right now here. So you can start to create new tables here and all the configuration for, for the database. But this is the way that we can use in order to create a relational database in Alibaba Cloud.